Hello everybody, this is Buffalo back again. Stuck at home during this whole coronavirus bullshit. Figured I might as well take some time and get the things done I need to get done before it starts getting really nice outside. <clears throat> Picked up this uh, 2015 Ultra Limited Low <clears throat> uh, from the beginning of January. A little Christmas present to me. But uh, anyway, just got the uh, stock uh, handlebar grips on it, which I really don't care for. So um, I'm going to do a little uh, Avon grip install and a little review while I'm at it. I've already got the grips, got them from RC Components. I uh, really like the grips. They're really thick, give you something to hold on to. Plus they give you a little bit, of, a little bit more length so you can come a little bit further out with your hands. Um, and the reason why I picked these grips is because I got them back here on my uh, V-Ride. And I uh, really like them. They last a long time. I've had, this is an 05. I think I got these in 07. They haven't shown any kind of wear. Um, they still, all the rubber's still there. They still look brand new. Just been a very impressive grip. So when I found out they had some black ones, I figured that's what I'd go with with the Ultra. And it uh, looks like I need a T25. And I got a few things to try to get the uh, clutch side grip off. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna start ripping this apart. Looks like you got a bolt here and then a bolt down here. Take them two off to get this to slide right out. And then um, I'll start that right now and I'll get back to you, let you know if I have any issues. Alrighty, um, I had to loosen up the brake lever bolts just a little bit to be able to slide it out so um i got the old grip off came off right away um i'm not sure if any of you know how this works but these gears right here align up with the gears that are inside the bottom of this grip and uh that's what turns your throttle so uh per the manufacturer they said to uh make sure the avon is tw at 12 o'clock so i'm gonna get that lined up straight up and I put it all back together but yes you do have to loosen these up a little bit to get the old grip off and to get the new one back on alrighty I'm gonna tighten this up and I'll be right back <clears throat> all right clutch side um, <clears throat> had to take the clutch and loosen the clutch and let it off have something on your lower fairing if you have one just let it rest on so you don't scratch your paint um, took the whole thing apart I uh, still ended up having to cut the grip off. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to mess with all the wires in there. So just uh, went ahead and cut it with a utility knife and getting ready to put the other grip back on. Now, if you notice the tip of this, you see how it's notched. That only go on one way. And like I said, per the manufacturer, they want the Avon pointed up in their 12 o'clock position. So once you slide it on there, you'll see that them grooves only go on one way. So just make sure you get it all lined up before you uh, tighten it up. All right, I'm going to put this back together, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, got this grip on. This one was a little bit more trickier, trying to line that notch in there. So uh, just be patient with it. Take your time. Get in there just right. Make sure you tighten everything up. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you about this the throttle side, make sure when you're done, you give it a couple of turns and make sure it goes back into position I hate for it to get stuck on you when you're taking off so I'll just give it a couple pulls on it make sure it springs back other than that these grips are about uh, around eighty dollars on the website uh, big difference in the way they look big difference in the way they feel so anyways hope uh, this helps somebody out um, definitely worth the money and probably took about maybe 30 45 minutes to install <clears throat> all right everybody um enjoy and uh have a good one peace